this video talks about how to estimate a gauge MS model. In this video, I do assume that you are familiar with the estimation of an arch M model and ideally that you are familiar with the notation and concepts that I've covered in my video about estimating arch M models. So we start with the basic return decomposition where realized returns in T equal the predictable part mu t minus 1 plus the return shock epsilon t. And epsilon t is just equivalent to sigma t minus 1 times a uh, yeah, times a white noise shock eta t. Now the gauge ms parameterization assumes that this conditional variance sigma square t minus 1 can be written as follows. So you see it is linear in the past m squared return innovations and it's also linear in the past s variance terms. Now there are some parameter restrictions. First alpha 0 needs to be positive. All of the alphas need to be 0 or positive. All of the beta need to be 0 or positive. And there's this restriction that the sum of alpha i, beta i, sum going from i to 1 to the max of m or s, that needs to be smaller than 1. As an exercise, I would invite you to verify that the unconditional variance of a gauge MS process looks as follows. For that verification, you have to use the stationarity result that we've used quite often when determining unconditional moments for the arch processes, especially for the arch one. That's what we have shown in a previous video. So now as with the arch processes, one can estimate the parameters of a gauge MS model with maximum likelihood. For didactical purpose, I do mimic the Armour PQ Arch M example from the video on estimating Arch M models. In doing so, I assume that we want to fit an Armour PQ Arch MS model to a time series of monthly S&P 500 returns. So the resulting parametric model for monthly S&P 500 returns reads as follows. The realized return has that Armour PQ structure plus return innovation epsilon t. And here right away I assume that the epsilon t follows a Gauss distribution with mean zero and variance sigma square t minus one. So these returns are conditionally Gauss with a time varying variance. So the unconditional distribution won't be Gauss. Now sigma square t minus one follows that gauge MS parameterization. Instead of slicing the estimation problem into several sub-problems, as I have done in the video on estimating arch M models, I will here only write down the joint block likelihood function, which you then have to numerically optimize. So the joint block likelihood function coincides with that familiar expression, the only thing new is that the sum starts at t equals 1 plus the max of pqms. Otherwise, it has the same known three components, minus half log 2 pi, minus half log sigma squared t minus 1, and then minus half the prediction error to the power of 2 at time t divided by the conditional variance. Now the prediction error is defined as follows. You see it's just a realized return minus the armor PQ parameterization, which also shows you that you can identify these parameters based on that likelihood. And the parameterization of the variance is that gauge MS parameterization, which also highlights you can identify the alpha i's and the beta j's using that log likelihood function. And then we have that the sigma square zero is given here by the unconditional 
Garge MS variants. Now you have to look like your function. You could program that up, use your optimization routine, and find the parameters.